Hello everyone, my name is Boyd and I'm here with my friend Scar and today Hello. we are going to play a game called Touch Star. It is, I believe, a games game. So, here we go. Let's get this started. I might need to edit this. Because I think yeah, it needs to be seen a bit more. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make it full screen so we can see it better. And there we go. How is it looking? It looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna share with this. There we go. Okay. This is a demo of Touch Star Prologue and not the finished product. Thank you. Okay. Containing Touch Star was intended for older audience. It contains mature content of including includes that is not limited to horror, graphics, violence, strong language, alcohol, drug reference, injury. Okay. If you accept the content, oh, content warning, please click. In touch, starve your choices. Your choices matter. Your, the decisions you make may re result in a re unique dialogue, interactions, or even choice in red text, which contains exclusive content. Try playing through the demo more than once, choosing different options. You might even uncover a secret ending. And remember, there are no wrong choices, only interesting ones. Choose wisely and save often. Okay, save often, Scar. We got to save often. <laughs> got it. Okay, let me take a picture of this. Wait, this is a lot. No, it's not a lot. I just want to make sure at least I can keep it reminded. Yeah, um, to me. Left click, process text and dialogue. Mouse wheel up, rewind text and dialogue. Mouse wheel down, press. Uh, progress, text, and dialogue, spacebar, high B UI, press space again to bring it back, alt, activate, skip mode. So I won't, uh, I'll, okay, if we go through all the endings, I would definitely press skip mode, so that would just be only for that option at least. Oh yeah, so. of course. Okay, let's see how, okay, let me, Turn down the music for a second that I have in the background because I don't need that right now. Okay. What name? Mm. Should I just do void or do. What's been. Hold on a second. I don't know why you're asking me. I collect all the names like I'm Pokemon. <laughs> uh, uh, um. I'm trying to see what's like a name that they could do. They just do YN for like. <laughs> just YN. Your oh, name. The what? The what? Cat. <laughs> the what? Cat. AJ. Tell me. It is. <laughs> uh, you know, I just. I'll just do Void, and then everyone else could just do- You can also do, like, MC for, like, main character. <laughs> like, like, some games. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I can't type. Let me see. Damn, why is it? Go like void or like it, yeah. void. Yeah, I'll just do that. I don't know. I was thinking about YN, but then again, eh. Choose your pro oh, pronouns. Nice, thank you. This world begins to unravel. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just going to say, we love games that give you pronouns. Honestly, this world begins to unravel long before you were born. It begins with it begins with fog fall, 
Is this different? <laughs> Misled from it, the scenes were reality worn, so thin it split. And for the fog and merged monsters and human beings with unnatural powers, some possess languages. Let me turn this down. This might be too so like too loud for my voice. <laughs> I feel like it might be too loud. Sadly. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Some possessed language and intellect. Others were mind mindless beasts, driven by little more than their desire to slaughter. As cities fell and unrest spread, humans united in fear in their fear while monsters thrive in the chaos. And then there you and then there's you. <laughs> English. You're not even you're not even sure if you're human. You were born cursed with hands that alter the minds of anyone you talk. Oh, wait, what? You were born with you were born with you were born cursed with hands that alter the minds of anyone you touch. Choose your backstory. Oh. 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 Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wait, you were wait, raised. Wait, wait. Go ahead, which one? I don't. I don't. Okay. okay, okay, I'm gonna read this one first. You were. Okay, let me not click on that real quick. I'm gonna just go ahead like that. You were raised as an oracle in a remote temple. The priest claimed your touch bestowed enlightenment. But as a visiting mage revealed your curse from what it, it is, following mage word, you fled and searched for. In Cinnabon, I, I I'm gonna butcher it, so don't judge me. <laughs> you regularly experience unnatural. Why are these words? Remontings that rattle your body and soul, it, and in in a sixth sense gives you a heightened awareness of your. Hidden supernatural presence around you. Then there's the thief. You were raised by society's outcasts, criminals who accepted you when nobody else would. Your partner in crime, a friend since childhood, helped you helped you steal enough money for a curse, then for for a cure, then betrayed you. They left you with only enough coin to travel to some means your last hope. You have a sharp, a sharply honed society intuition. You have, you can survive and even thrive in the violent underbelly of any city, using your experience with underworld to get ahead. Then we have the uh, alchemist, an exile of Somnian's mage, took you in as a child, raising you as her home, as her apprentice. She seems to take pity on your curse. But you discovered she was cultivating you as a test subject. You fl oh dang! Why does that remind me of an OC I had? <laughs> <laughs> My days on Roblox. Not gonna lie, these I I think we're gonna have to see through all these lives of the characters because I would definitely want to see that. But it's so it's so sad that they make us pick. They make us choose. Uh, you are experienced spellcaster with an knowledge of alchemy spellcasting history. With a little observant, you can identify subtle effects on of magic. Okay, so we either were raised by a priest. We were outcasts, but we were betrayed. We were test subject, and we ran to find a cure. We know, we know, like we know how to identify magic. We know how to. We have like good intuition of social cues. I think in a way, this one we have a sixth sense, and we have heightened awareness with supernatural presence around us. These are all kind of good, but it's sad that we have to choose. So, like, oh, like, <laughs> like for for 
your for your like backstory and stuff, I, I think the 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 uh, the third one, I'm not even gonna try to say it. I think that would fit you. Yeah. And for my for my backstory, I think the hound would fit me. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go back and forth with this. Like, like if we if we get enough back like um, enough story on this one, we're definitely gonna restart so we can do it for you for this one. Oh yeah. Like. So let's do course, that then. Of course, this is this is your your story. Yeah. So. Yeah, of course, but later on I could do like another video for you as well and let you decide. Oh man. Oh, I can help you with the decision too, so don't worry. Your name is Void. You selected they them. Your backstory is the alchemist. Is that cor is this correct? Yes. I look so pretty. The wasteland stretches as far as the eye can see. There's nothing out there out here but death. Ever present stench of decay and countless sun bleach bone <laughs> sun bleach bones cast like seeds across the barren land. I could see de I could say death doesn't scare me, but to tell the truth I'm desperate. It's been two weeks since I joined the carven bound across the waste. Finding a group that accepts me was a trial in itself. As ra rations grew sparse and my can ran dry, I began to dis despair. Dis yeah, despair. Despair, but then I saw it. That's pretty. Look at the stars. Erida, the city of knowledge. One of last. Bastions of humanity left in the world. A, a home to famous academia called Son of Loom. I don't know how to pronounce these things, so <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> All the world's knowledge gathered in one place. If there was any anywhere I find a cure for, for my cure, it's there. All the knowledge gathered in one. P oh, I. Um. Uh, hello. I wasn't done. <laughs> All of the knowledge gathered in one place. If there's anything, I'll find a cure. For my cure, it's there. All it stands between me and, and a cure is a final stretch of salt-soaked waste, or so I think. When I until I see the first tread rail, tread rails of fog sneaking beneath the wagon. Okay, so I was reading that. There's a bone thing. Do you want to do the voice? Or is my oh is this fog fall? Okay, I don't know if that's mine or not. I don't. Do you want to do the narration? You can't put me on the spot like like that. I'm just trying to sip my coffee. <laughs> oh, your coffee? Oh. I'm trying to give a dog a heart attack. <laughs> I can't see the back. I'm actually wolf. Duh. Duh. <laughs> my stomach sinks at the very whisper of it. A silent storm, more devastating than fire. Dangerous in cities, but a death sentence beyond them. A thick blanket of fog engulfs us, smothering out its lantern light. The wagon lurches to a stop, an eerie silence heavy as the mist falls over us. The only warning we get is a strangled scream. <laughs> That's a scream right there. Huh? Oh, that be... No, I'm just... It's been so long since I've done these type of things. Would that actually be a stutter? It's a though? stutter. I think so. It's a stutter. It's a stutter. Stay back. Yeah. No. Yeah. The yeah. Go ahead. No. 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 You go. No. I didn't. You did it. You. 
Go. Oh, I, okay, I already said it. So, s stay back. No. The cry dissolves in a wet gurgling. Then a wagon violently pitches to the side. I hit the ground hard. An air punch from my lungs. When I open my eyes, adrenaline lend lends sudden awful clarity to range around me. A traitor I once shared bread with lies face down in the mud, their back reduced into str long strings of torn muscle, gleaming gristle, and expo exposed bone, bodies litter in the, the wasteland. I, ooh, I try to ra arise, but my ankles explode with pain, so blinding. White blooms across my vision. Only when my eyes adjust, I see a dark shape in the front of, in front of me. God, a soul soulless stood, stoops. I couldn't read that. Cause I'm trying to avoid. Stoops uh, over the twisted form. A carpenter. I I can't pronounce that. I freeze, but it swells its head. Dozens bulging eyes twitch in my direction. I blink as blink as one. The soulless lets out an ear splinting shriek and runs at me. That's a fuck no. B but right before it reaches me, a beast barrels past, vanishing into the mist. Distantly, a horse screams in the dark. I need to move now. Should we, should we run to the- okay. So we need to save. So I'm saving right here. Cause that's yeah. the first choice. Okay, so we can either run to the city or head towards the wagon. Well, okay. At least with the wagon, we can use that as a vehicle, I believe. Okay, yeah. And also, we can always check this stuff as well later on. We can always, like, if it's the wrong thing, we always have a safe thing. If, and we can always check out the other things. I take cover behind, beside the wagon, where the air is thick with greasy smoke. Fire eats through the gaping hole. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna... Splitting where lantern oil mixes with the brackish water. Hold on a second. That's crazy, though. Damn. Every person I see is dead or dying except one. Oh, oh yeah, from your view. Yeah. Uh huh. This is. I think it's a good voice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all mother, forgive our sins. Guide us unto your your heart. We are worthy. We are worthy. The travel grows by the flames. Their hands clap above their head in a fertile pray fervent prayer. I glance above, upwards, towards a gossy light of Erida. Just visible where the fog runs thinnest. I don't pray, but the sight of the city is all the reminder I need. I came too far to die here. A rapid footsteps echo all around me. I, I turn in circles, frequently searching the upcumness for a source. But fog, uh, fog fall twists and stretches sound. Slowly, the car... Carbon driver bust forth from the fog. Our eyes meet too late. He slams into me, knocking me into the ground. And slip the patch of mud. Solace falls on him as soon as he slows. It catches the driver by his throat. Racks his stomach with his sharp, razor sharp claws. He comes apart like wet paper, spilling intestines, and. This first, I don't know how to pronounce that, in a steaming t 
tide. Fight, fighting the urge to heave, I crawl frequently through the slippery muck for a handhold. Shit. My hand catches on the jagged edge of a, a rip jutting up from the water, bandaging on fear around the <laughs> guns turn deep into my palm. The pain quickly is forgotten when my when a hand closes around my wrist. Sorry. Can you stand? He looks. I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> the praying traveler leans over me. We need to run. They reach for my hand. I realize it's too. I realize too late that my bandage have un, have come undone. No, don't touch me. The sensation of their thumbs brushed. Oh no! Oh, ouch! It's always gonna be like the first character that's gonna help us. No! <laughs> no! That sucks. The sensations of their thumb brushing the back of my hand since sh shriveled on my spine. All it takes one touch in the space of my <laughs> in the space of breath, my curse takes hold. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. oh no! They slip. Their slips. Spill back into deranged grin. A mirror. <laughs> I can't do. I can't do like a hysterical laugh like one of our friends. <laughs> I guess that helps. <laughs> no. Perfect. No, I've seen this face countless times. This is my curse, a madness of my own making. Their grip on my hand tightens until pain radiates from my knuckles. Let me go. Suddenly, clammy hands crushing my throat, choking me off my breath. Oh. <laughs> die, 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 die. Ding. <laughs> Spit bubbles at the corner of their mouth. Flex of my face, edge, edges off my vision darken as my lungs scream for air. I'm wondering if we should save this. So like, um, this one could be for the one if we run to the city. And this one could be for... Yeah, the, we'll see the, how many slave, save slots there are. Hello. You good. Oh, yeah. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> we can save as much. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I'll just start here then. The number 10. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Okay. Okay, um. Let's see. Should we scream for help or fight them off? Because I think uh, everyone's dead. Yeah, I don't think screaming will help. That would just hurt our throats. I think we should just fight them off. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, we can always we can always check the other endings. My nails we got, <laughs> we got enough saves for days. My nails <laughs> gouge deep into the traveler's wrist. But no matter how much blood I draw on, they don't flinch. Oh. The more I struggle, the tighter their grips grows as my pulse hammers in my ear, slowing with each thudding beat. This can't be happening. I'm gonna die, not because of the fog fall or the solace, but because of my own curse. Tears sting my eyes. No, no. N not here. Not like this. 
The hands drop from my neck, leaving me wheezing for air. My lungs burn with each ragged cough. My vision clears. The traveler's face takes shape, hovering inches from my lips still split in a macrable smile. Even blood seeping seeps between their teeth. Oh! They give me one last shuddering breath, then slump over claws hooked through their stomach. Oh! A big doggo? A big doggo? That creature with eyes saved us. The soul is shoved the body aside, the glowing eyes studding its leather skin thin as though grinning. We're gonna die next, aren't we? Yep. Yep, okay. That, that. <laughs> There's a flash of claws. Come on. Red spill across my vision. I thought there'd be pain, but as I seep into murky water, all I can feel is a grit of slit filming, filling my mouth in the icy embrace of shallow water. Just then I noticed an arm resting among out top of red, mine neatly severed at the elbow. It should should have taken both arms without them. Maybe I could survive, maybe I could talk, could, could have had a home. Instead, I die cold alone, face down in a wasteland. Fitting, a fitting in for a monstrosity like me. Oh no! Well, that's ending one, at least. R.I.P. Press F in the chat. <laughs> if death is not as bad as I fear, the cold is gone, as choking stench. Above, above water. It could drift forever, cocoon in the oblivious, until all thought of sensation sensation vanish. No curse, no body howling at me in madness and terror. Nothing at all. The thought has terrible appeal, appeal to it. But the next moment I take a reflex breath, air floods into my lungs, but then again, in a ragged gas. When feeling comes flooding back, a warm cloth on bare, in my bare skin, a firm surface underneath me, the strange pain of sulfur in the air. I see this turtle. We're alive? Question mark? Wait. Wait. Did, did you already read this line or no? No. Do not be afraid. Kind of quick. Oh. I twist my head towards the voice, tears flooding, flood my barely vision at the bright glow of the lamplight. Try not to move. The voice has come steady to me, but more importantly, the strength of force. One thought cut through my mental thoughts. I have no idea who this is, and I'm completely at their mercy. Stay away from me. My words come out a little more than a creepy whisper. I can't say much about feeling weak, how weak and helpless I sound. No. No. Who the hell is this? Uh, okay. So we can either sit up or lay back down. Oh, oh no. He, he's kind of good looking. I kind of want to listen. To lay back down. <laughs> I I kind of I kind of fit in my role of who I am. <laughs> my bitch is like fuck you, me, bitch. Cause like. Oh, so, Brat move. <laughs> okay, like, I okay if okay if we're if we're thinking about this, it would make more sense for them to lay down. So I get it, but that's also yeah. just me. And, that's me and our other friend. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, 
like depending on the person yeah yeah i would be like excuse me who you who you been telling me not to sit up <laughs> but but okay but, come on. we can always check it again yeah. later on the queue because i just saved yeah. it so oh, let's yeah. Should it sit up and then later on we can try to do lay the back down or lay back down and then sit up. I feel I feel like uh laying for me. Okay. Let myself slump back against the thin color once you know when motion to go my head. It's the one time, it's the one brutal. time I can't speak. <laughs> you can. A crop of it. That's okay. Please make it. <laughs> May you say the word so I can mimic you, please. <laughs> uh, I can't even pronounce that either. Um, cooperative? Coo cooperative. Uh, a cooperative, a, a patient, thank you. <laughs> the word swim in one ear and, and, and out the other without much comprehension. Comprehension. I pull the sheet up higher, wiping my eyes and see my vision clear. Oh. The stranger towers over my prone form. A warm light disrupts in his peak. Present medical coat. I enter the sheet back. That way I notice I'm completely naked except for a thin <laughs> lining sheet. Naked lying low cut with a pair of sharp golden eyes watching my every move and ma the man's gaze flickered to my exposed vintage on bending skin. I plunge my hand under the sheet hiding from sight. Though it's too late, he must have noticed what they look like. The strange one, cursed and seen. I brace myself for his inedible suspicion and disgust, but his expression even flicker from a quartz smile. He just watches in flattened silence as I struggle to make sense of my surroundings. Where, where am I? Who, who are you? Be calm. You are safe here. Whoever this is, he's clearly, he clearly has no idea who or what I am. I've never been safe anywhere with anyone. Even with my own mentor, my teacher. Thought I was nothing but a convenient specimen to be used and discard. discarded. Discarded. A scowl pulling the street to try to do around myself. Where are my clothes? The man's golden eyes narrow slightly as a sharp side thrust through the papers in his hand. That word sorry, at the end. I, I, I'm sorry, I was just trying to read that because to me, I, I gotta get close to my screen to read this. Sorry. I, I see, you are not to be dissuaded. I think that's what the word is. Mm. What? In this, in this YouTube channel, we will make mistakes, we will in the power not pronounce things right, so, <laughs> just being human, your clothes- I somehow magically passed English. Honestly, same. Okay, next one. Your clothes were torn to shreds where, when I found you, very procured. Oh, wait, what? Procured. Procured? Mm -hmm. Replacement. That's like the one word that was slightly blurry. Oh, it's so pretty! Look at this room. Yeah, the soft creaks, he stands from his chair, giving me a better view of my surroundings. I seem to be in some sort of medical clinic, bottled in silver alchemy, alchemy, 
continent. So he haunts the lines of counter and nature rows. Do not judge me. No, that's a trick. The air makes my nose with a faint swift of smoke and something instantly metal, um, metallic that I can't quite place. Oh, he, oh. Perfect. The doctor produces a large dancing bundle of clothes, which he sits at the foot of my cot. He easily heads taller. Hit. He's easy to head taller than most. I have to crane my head and my neck to look at him. Okay, so you can say thank you. But could you step out? I think we should say thank you. If that was, yeah. the... I, I want to be a nice person for once. I should be polite. If I... I should be polite if I can, especially since I don't know who this is and what he can do or what he wants to do. Thank you. Oh. You are welcome. I'll leave you to get dressed. It's Sir, a you have pretty hair. Can I like I'm... read it, please? <laughs> In the uh... most nicest way, I just, I just. I don't know why. Honestly, I don't blame you whatsoever. But the third mark, he leads through a narrow door. And he felt that as the lock turns behind him. I count to three, and he suddenly stops. And I don't hear any more footsteps. I reach for the front of the hole. An itch, an itch on my elbow stops me short. I reach down gently to the bit. Then I freeze in my hands to meet. A line, a neat line of stitches. I know what I saw. The beast took my arm too long, and yet my arm throws me into the heart from the black stitches opening into my skin. Um, gingerly flex my fingers, feeling my heart race at the sensation. This is impossible. I should be dead. Like the very least, gasping to my last breath. He sees my eyes shut, waiting for a pleasant view to unravel to the up, moving in the swamp. But nothing happens. The seconds slip by, and the arms remain. They won't just be healed. They wish. I. I don't know before. Oh well. My surrounding person. Person in. In fire. Person in fire, though. And numb this leaves, I reach for the replacement clothes and begin swiftly pulling them on. They, they are thicker and warmer than mud. With a black, woolen cloak go with them. But there is one thing for me to do, to The golden eyes means for me to do any. Even though I know I can sell my hand. I slide off the bed, taking a few unsteady steps towards one door. If this, this, if this is indeed a doctor's clinic, there must be bandages somewhere. I start opening doors at random. And of course, when the door opens, when the door swings one off, oh, once more, it looks like something. Oh, sorry. We have help. How dare you speak my part? <laughs> Are you looking for something? Let me make sure you're higher too, because I need to see the bottom. But... I know for a fact that my voice for certain characters are going to change, because my mind's just like, okay, let's just do it like this. Yeah, I just want to make sure you're high enough for the um, viewers and stuff. Mm. Okay, so it's like I swirl around, put the thick roll of clean bandages as I try to step back. 
going to bump against the edge of the car. Mm. You're cautious. Yeah, your caution is understandable. Though, if I meant any, if I meant you any harm, you would know. That doesn't make me feel better in spite of but he makes no move towards me. Mind the damage around me. The ghost car and model skin disappear under a layer of clean water. Why you need additional bandages? I punched my doll. I knew it would be only better a matter of time before he asked for help. So, the, the way he does it, he does it is strangely a wrong doll. So we can either see some, say nothing, glare at him, or just punch him. I'm not going to glare at him. I don't think. I mean, it makes sense to the player at him because they're afraid of being weak once again. What happened to their mentor? Yeah. So hard. Oh, I wouldn't stay quiet. But I'll either decline to answer or just glare. No, we can always go back to see what we like or yeah. not, so this is the time first. Well, that's a very, um, that's a very personal question. Yeah. Is that so? Surely you realize that I can only help if you tell me what what a uh, I'm sorry that last word after what is blurred if you tell me what feels it, it's just that word for me is too small for me to understand I'm like huh Okay. In a volunteer, there's so much of a lot of to see. Where would I even begin? Would he even believe me if I told him? No, best to keep my fears to myself for now and learn more about his first. Who are you? You may call me. Uh, you, you say the name. <laughs> Like, if it's wrong, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it would have been way bird butchered if I said it. Where would you say? Well, her, her? Yeah. Okay. See, see, in the smaller version, the S looks like an X to me, so I'm like, huh? Oh, should I fix it for you so you can see it better? No, 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 it's all good. I can still read. To an extent, but I can read. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And where is that? It's Iridea. Iridea. Iridea, which I assume was your caravan destination. I can tell, I can think of nowhere oh. else for a group of travelers to go. I kind of seem with like an elegant voice in a way. So I made it to the city of Nalaka. I should be relieved, but all I can manage is to with a sense of increasing unease. How does that end up here? I brought you to my clinic, of course. You were the only 
survivor from the caravans. Um, Barely. Barely clinging to life. You need an immediate, uh, immediate, um, treatment. There we go. For some reason, my mind went blank. Which survivor? Yes. I don't know if you will face me if I close his eyes and get that. As if I'm a small child and he's playing with the same position. It's not an assumption. On my weak feet, her arm. Aside from being a, a bit stiff, it goes by. Really attached to me. You're saying that you switched her arm back on? Pardon? It's always the tap to tap the carbon. It hurts every one to fit. It, it tore my my arm clean off. But when I woke up here, I spent my entire life learning from someone to my mate. And I know of, of no alchemy or magic that could uh, just so never even do some how to heal my community. I don't know if it's not a but I think it's not an ordinary at all. The doctor, he sits back in his chair quiet for a long time. Yeah. Um, it's the same thing that I do not know where you come from, but... What's that word again? Air, 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 I don't know. Sorry, but Airy Dia. Airy Dia. Airy Dia. I'll try that back. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Airy. I don't know if that's an S or a D. Oh, E R I I A. Eridia. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. City of knowledge and deadly secrets alike. Information is power, and it is most unwise to give. Or receive it freely. Oh, so you want me from like What 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 would you like, my <laughs> good sir? You kill this. I would gladly be called a simp for this. <laughs> Since you have refused to divulge divulge yeah. Divulge your secrets. I will not divulge mine. I do not even know your name. That was just... You are not. You are new to uh, Erdia. Erdia. Mm. Ah, fudge. Uh, so I will overlook the specific breach of. Uh-huh. Man, English has <laughs> failed me. <laughs> Etiquette. Dude, that or I just wasn't Etiquette. paying attention. Etiquette. Elswit. However, you should not expect others to extend the same courtesy. Me and my snibbles suck. <laughs> Do you understand? He looked firmly at my crusty damaged skin. So, so I'm, I admit, he has a point. I am also completely changed with him. If he's trying to see if he saved my life, I think a deeper. So, this time last week, I saw him more like myself. He poured, and I missed 
little smile. <clears throat> it is a pleasure to meet you, Ward. He looks more yes than a smile. Oh, and he his polite to be back. Back, back in, in an instant. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Man, I just want to be nice and say thank you. But that's just me. This this is your. This I know, your but life. yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Why did you save me? If there's anything I've learned is that everyone wants something. With the world of incest peril, no one reached out a hand without accepting something in return. Can I ask why you saved me? You don't know me. Your eyes are wide. <laughs> Your eyes are so pretty. <laughs> they are pretty. This question seems to startle first. I could hardly hardly leave you to die in the waste. You know, you know what? I think later on we're gonna have to see if we run or call for help or see if someone like him or someone else saves us. So I wanna see that now. Because yeah. he came to see, save us after that. I wonder if they waited for that creature to leave or they killed that creature. But who knows? We don't know. Or we don't have that much knowledge yeah. this place here. That's interesting. That is very interesting to be told. That's just me. Oh, sorry. My lies. How could you? The betrayal. Okay. Ahem. Assisting those in need is the very essence of a doctor's duty. I've never met a doctor who opened out the soul. I can find the edge of the soul, but the edge of the soul. There are subtle of the delicate things, the blurring patterns around my hand. I try not to think about what kind of price this man has asked for such small things. No, I suppose not. Forgive my presumption. I rarely come across so fascinating. Wait, factuating a patient. I think that's the right word. Oh, fascinating. Fascinating? Fasc no, yeah. I thought it was factuating or something. I don't know. I said it both ways so well. Yeah, either way, I, we got it. We got it. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I think, what did he say? Uh, there. Yep. You lied. Could you read in my line again? <laughs> uh, I simply meant that few would cling to life so. Please. That's a loop. I'm sorry, what? That's a loop. Resolutely or brave, uh, brave such a fearless, fearless. I don't know. Fearless, fearless journey. Fearless, fearless journey to our years ago. Fearless. I don't know. Fearless. We're trying our best. It could not help. Oh, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I'm about to walk off the stage. Are you really? You're gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Not the table. No, not the table. The table. Like, I want to head by some Um, I can't coffee. Let's go to just shove your face into the coffee. The <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, I I could not help being curious about you, Ward. His voice dipped in a soft murmur, 
and he abruptly looks away from me. You're making me give me a It's okay. You have to try to cure it yourself. Oh! Am I? <laughs> well, I haven't forgotten about my arm. Well, my attack symbol is at home. Clearly not. But you haven't asked for any payment either. I require a name from you. Travelers do not oh, none. have. Sorry. You're good. Oh, my bad. No, you're good. You're good. I require it's... not. I require none from you. Travelers do not have an abum abumbling of coin, and it will it would be unethical to leave you this is suited in a strange place. It's all silent, I'm sure what to say. Nobody speaks like a war like like me in the script. There has to be some kind of Catcher, trick. A, long, a loud knock at the front door stops our conversation cold and spares me from having or, any, or to say anything else. Duty calls. Unfortunately, you are not my only patient today. The knocking grows more. Ah, and Vincent, he not just me. I cannot pronounce him. Please let out a tire sigh. Please wait your turn. But he says it quietly. But the camera on the other side of the door abruptly stops. Do. <clears throat> Do you need anything before you leave, Boyd? Oh, the king is full of his hat, and the nurses who drive were almost forgotten why I came here an year ago. In the first place, I need, um, I need directions to Cinema I don't know how to pronounce it, but I said that. <laughs> the Cinema Why do you look angry? I, I don't know. I don't like seeing him so angry. Are you angry? Do you need a Snickers? You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> the look on his face is downright chilling. He pauses his words with a forward cel celebration when he speaks again. <clears throat> Whatever you seek, it is very unlike you will find it there. <laughs> Okay, um, the cinema. No oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> my mind! My mind! <laughs> here, here, uh, here. There you go. <laughs> okay, the cinema. Cinema. Boom, 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 boom. Beams, cinnabeams, gates open for precious few visitors. Even if they did, you would not like what you found inside. Are you trying to keep us away from there? Or are you just actually saying my question? We're not so we want to answer that way. My heart sinks. Is he saying that I came all the way, all this way for nothing, risk my life, this life and limbs for nothing? It can't be. I've only just arrived in Earth. the largest city still standing. There has to be a cure for you here. Then, if not, if not the sin of being, where would you be? Do you know anyone else in Arida? Aridi or Arida? Yes. Whatever works to say. 
I can't even pronounce either, so you can go either way. I never saw these words before. They're just, they're from this, this, they're for the story, so that's why. So that's how you best pronounce it. I'm shaking my head. Then I suggest a local guide head to the wet wit wick and ask for Leonard. Yeah. Yeah. That's in red, so we're gonna have to look for that. I'll I'll take a picture of it already. Excuse me, the wet what? The wet wick. Oh, Was it like John was or something? <laughs> he sounds. Oh no, I, I would think of a totally different word, but. but wait, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Follow me. Oh, I think they said follow me. My, my, my brain wanted me. Blah, blah. Oh. Follow the postings advertising Leonard's Bloodhound. They are difficult to miss. What? When you meet Leonard, tell him I sent you. That isn't so much to go on, but here's points towards the front of the back door. So we're going outside, we're not going some I You will be safe so long as you do not draw attention to yourself. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I I will be that that. No, that, wait, uh, wait, go back, go ahead, go ahead. Please be sorry. I I will be that like wallpaper person. <laughs> the, you know the ones we just don't know about. Yeah. Uh, easier said than done. I've. Oh, I've always had been a magnet for the worst sort of attention. If you require my assistance, you may return whenever you wish. That's smile and those eyes. Are you so beautiful? It's the outfit. It is. I just want to see his little things over here. I think it's a cute ring. So he's smiling. There's a note of finality in his voice. I don't know how to pronounce it, so don't hurt me in his voice. Besides, to my dismissal, I've stepped out the back door. I find myself standing in a narrow and rather gloomy alley. I put I put the new coat over my nose, up over my nose, stepping over the concrete of the chamber pots. Have been emptied in the streets. Should I save? Possibly? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, possibly. Something weighs heavily inside one of the cups pocket I coin for. Everything's still inside. Every glass coin that I skip together for the journey of two years ago. It doesn't even look like it was too nice to be it was open. There was so there were so few points to begin with. They probably weren't. They probably weren't worth stealing. I glanced back at the clinic so far. First, he didn't take any treatment. He didn't even ask for the future, for a future favor. But he only said in that in the area that secrets of power. Does he expect me to give up mine at some point? Oh, so that's how it worked. Okay. That's not exactly a comforting thought. Still, no matter what, why he did it, first give me second chance. Lead and a lead on where I might find help. Oh, I'm just gonna walk. I better keep going before he changes his mind. I squeeze out the alley. Into the crowd, crowded Main Street. The line outside there stretches down the road early, already. Two thin peddlers, a few, a few 
alongside whether whether over if any if any place is in desperate need of a picnic assistance. Ah dang. That's sweet of him. But I hope like someone in higher up at least well I don't know. I was gonna say maybe someone higher up could pay him for all of this thing because medicine and all that stuff is not free and and if he uses a lot of his abilities, I'm not sure if that takes a lot of like clinical like health or something, but nonetheless. Yeah. The problem stones such a are such a list such to list me rough under my feet. Deep wounds worn between them. By regular flooding it would take decades of of hard a new Iridia was a river street, but I didn't expect it to look eroded. Why is it so loud in my ears? Why is it so low and it's so loud? <laughs> a new Iridia was a river street. Oh, okay, I already that. A child darted by, clutching some. Been greasy, wrapped in paper. The smell of fried food drifted over to me. My stomach gave gave a faint burger. This mm. morning, oh, do you want to read it or do you read it? You can read this one. Okay. This morning's catch, fried up and hot, hot and fresh. Not not many eyeballs today, huh? That sounds disgusting, but I'm starving. So I duck my head under in the stall, rubbing on it. A large fist peered up at me. Its three bulging eyes still visible through the thick layer of crispy batter. The vendor gives me a gap tooth grin. What's the cheapest thing you got? The vendor points at the metal basket of what looks like a long strip stripe. Right. Well, I say stripes for strips of <laughs> savory fried dough, fresh long bread, three copper, three copper a piece. Don't burn your mouth. I take the coins out, chomping gingerly. At this rate, I might not even be able to afford dinner. Spend on this week, I drop a, the payment on the counter to go meal. The two two weeks later. I pass under a rough iron acre eight way adorned with dangling garlands of red and pink lilies. The buildings in this quarter are dizzy, 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 riot of color and painting walls. They tend to grab everywhere I look. Tear bread and pink curtains flutter in open doorways. Musical voices call out in vitamin, in incense, incense mingles with a pungent scent of flowers barely covering the solid monk and musk of warm bodies. This must be Irida's entertainment district. No, the end of I'm polishing off my food and dusting the film off from my hands when I spot a poster. The feature features the silhouette of smiling men wearing a single dagger like earrings as the word bloodhound printed above his head. A model of as above, so below, circles. As above, so below, circles at the artwork. If Lee Leander is leader of Bloodhound, then the face printed on the posters I can use. I follow a line of identical posters around the form and nearly hit each head on the wildly voice hard <laughs> previously. I'm I'm not gonna I'm butchering it, so don't judge me. Dangling wood sign, looking up fade. Faded orange letters read out the wedding book. 
the facade of the building looks like we've seen better days, but I hear faint music and laughter coming from inside. Ooh, I love this. The inside of the bar is a far cry from abandonment exterior. Exterior. It, it's not even midday, yet most of the tables and booths are occupied by a loose assembly of people in matching green coats. I'm out, I'm not, I believe I'm no stranger to a bar, to bars. Sometimes I would take my book to a local tavern for a change of scenery. But I much prefer quiet places being a curious, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Glance doesn't turn up from anyone with a bag or sharp earring. I belt his head towards the counter when a tank rises from the center of the room. Show, show, show! The remaining green cloak have been in the bar and the Booths who rush towards the center of the room in sudden pouring. There's no time to move out of this of the way I'm caught, swept along a foul scrunch of trees. Stench burns. Hey, hey! Rhythm, rhythmic chanting drowns out my voice. I thrash throwing out my elbow as the press of body grows heavier. My hips knock into the table, a grip holding on tight, setting myself, but the cold has stilted, and chanting has stopped. A pair of glittering boats spread across the tabletop. Oh! Start! Start! Seriously, you dogs, again? Scattered left. And tears rise from the audience. Drag my eyes up. Oh, you a child. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarlet's oh, God, that's Scarlet's good. And his eyes see. And the ears cry. Okay. A well, well dressed man standing on the table in front of me. His broad shoulders framed by a thick black label. Label? Label? of a trench coat. This really is the last time, all right? This number speaks an audience hall sound, as though a witch by his magnet presence or a witch vocal. But nothing is a captivating, captivating. As his smile, he aims at the crowd around him, a performer on his makeshift stage. Don't blink, or you'll miss it. He laughs as, and the dagger's sharp earring dangle from his left ear, touching the light of the stick in a flash of gold. It would seem as on I think he enters. Yeah, Leonard. He raises his hand above the arms and snaps. A flash of cold light, still magic, watering his back, stage trip, blinds him. Ooh! As brilliant speed as my gaze can focus on the magic tower. Towering above me. He's flickering. He, he flickers his wrist and the magic spirals around. Forces. A delicate flower. Sorry. <laughs> Mother flower seems to sprout from between his tennis fingers, one by one, glowing lily petals. To the floors of the maze presents a convoluted flower, the audience burst into clapping in tears. My mouth hangs open, and not just on account of its festive performance, it's an incantation, a spell circle. 
have never seen something so beautiful in an intricate country so effortlessly. Then I what did you pronounce it? Le Leonard. Leonard. Yes. Most the incredible gift of me. No wonder if there is to have recommended him. Recommended him. Yeah. Of the earth, it was okay. Out of the air, and turned slowly, turned in a slow circle, giving the audience a good look. Now, who could use some good luck? <coughs> you good there? Uh -huh. Yeah. Peter onlookers scoot close to the table. Some reach for the movie while others whistle and call Leonard's name. But his cool green eyes slide right over them. Walking on the dead. How about you? I just said every person that was friend stare at me. Why did you do this to me? I wasn't supposed to get attention, but I will take the flowers. Can I take the flowers? Yeah, take the flowers, because you need to talk to them anyway. I reached out all too aware of the way my fingers are the every time. There's no reason to be one. I can't I can't speak to you guys the way he looks. I <laughs> I've only seen warmth and radiant from the sin. As soon as the flowers leave Wow. Okay. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't. Would he admit it disappear or something? As soon as okay. someone else. As soon as the flower leaves in the chain, the lights win. They fade away in a shower of most afraid turns black on his face. That's the problem with flowers. They don't last long, but they leave an impre impression, right? Grins at me. I find myself smiling back. Game up. Ooh! -hoo! <laughs> you can't judge me, Star. You can't judge me for this. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is a pass. <laughs> okay. I get it, but for me, damn, it's, it's so beautiful. I think I know what else that we need to add to this, to, to our little blank wall behind us. It's like a smash pass for us. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> it could literally be anything and everything. The monster, bad guy, whoever it is, smash or pass. Honestly, yes. <laughs> Let me check how the- Okay, so it's been an hour. Did we stop for today? And do it later in the morning? Or do I continue? Yeah, like, we, we can stop it now and stuff, and then have another session yeah. tomorrow, or maybe another day or something. Yeah, but, well, that's it for us today. I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.